not going to use my children. Hey, how you doing today? Proverbs chapter 29, verse 15. The rod and rebuke give wisdom, but a child left to himself brings shame to his mother. You know, um, today, you know, you shouldn't spank your child. It happened in the Old Testament. And I get that, you know, uh, you know, but uh, and I, I get those going. I'm not even going down that route. Today. What I'm going down is though we need to have consequences for our children for their actions. We let our children walk all over us. And that's why the schools are, are the way they are. Why, why the next generation is the way it has been, uh, because there is no real consequences for bad behavior. Um, and here's the thing: we we, we don't want to do that. Well, we, we don't really we don't want to hurt their feelings. Well, here's the thing about kids: uh, they can get mad at something, and then 10, 20 minutes later, their best friends are the person who they were mad at. They get over things so a lot easier. When they become adults, and if you're watching this and you're an adult, you know this to be true, then we get mad about something. It takes us a lot longer to get over it. Uh, so, uh, so, and, and then we really don't learn that lesson. The children, they, they, they learn the lesson and then they go on. Okay, all right, this is not what my parents want. This is not honoring uh, God, not honoring them. And and why are your parents, why are you having consequences? Because you want your child, when they get older, when they have to face adult consequences, you don't want them to have to face the adult consequences. You want them to be able to make the right choices and go there. Because if you leave them to themselves, they will bring shame to you. Because as they get older, they'll get in trouble. Oh, they'll squander their money. They won't try to keep a job. And you'll wonder, why is my child like that? I'll tell you right now, if you leave your child to their own devices, and if you are afraid of hurting their feelings, this is what your child will become like. And then verse 18, when the wicked are multiplied, transgression increases and the righteous will see their fall. Uh, if we don't tell them what is right from wrong, if we're not willing to offend them, here's what could happen. When they get older, they're, they're, they're going to see the wicked as good. And, and, and what's going to happen is they're, they're going to fall. And then those who do the right thing, the righteous, are going to see that and they're going to go well we know why because you didn't do what god asked to do um so we need to make sure we do that and because uh when you just let them think they can get away with it, then the wickedness will increase but i want to be their friend well you're not their friend they're your parents okay friend was never on the table you're their parent your job is to prepare them for life so when they leave the house, you can say, hey, that's my son. That's my daughter. They're doing a great thing. And, and, and they're making right choices. You also want to be able to leave when they make wrong choices, knowing that, hey, they know what's wrong. They know what's right. And, 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 and they can deal with the consequences of their actions. So it doesn't fall back on you. How many times do I, I deal with parents today? I'm like, man, I'm, I'm dealing with the problem of my child. Well, wait a second. Don't they know better? Don't they? they should be able to grapple with this okay and, and go forward with that and it's building that foundation where because they will make mistakes but they need to learn how to deal with them and get into the right and in, into the right path once again and uh if they're always just waiting for someone else to tell them something they're, they're never becoming their own person uh and god wants them to become their own person correct your uh, verse 17 correct your son and he will give you rest he will give delight to your soul well Basically, this verse just sums up the last two verses. Correct them. Tell them when they're wrong. And sometimes correction means there's got to be a corresponding, um, uh, what do you call it, consequences with it. Uh, don't be afraid of having consequences for your child. Um, now, I do not advocate, you know, you know, you should never, you know, the spanking thing. People are like, you don't want to beat your, yeah, you shouldn't. I, I, I don't think there's what beat their children, uh, okay? Um but they tried to show them, hey, this is this is in the very real. This is not what is right. <clears throat> There's many ways you can do that. Okay. There's many, many ways you can do that. But you got to have consequences to go with wrong behavior. You cannot just say that's bad and then just let them go back to the way they are. You can't do that. If you don't, correcting does not mean telling them wrong. Correcting is an action that continues to go forward. You're, we're going to correct this by doing something about this. Um, so, uh, so very important. Verse 18, where there is no revelation, the people cast off restraint, but happy is he who keeps the law. Let, let, let your children know if you keep the law of God, things will go well in your life. Um, and, 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 and things that you want, the desires, are, you will not be restrained from the things you want to do because God wants to give you the desires of your heart. And, and when you keep the law, guess what? You don't get in trouble. You feel good about yourself. You go sleep at night. You'll sleep better when you keep the when you keep the law. Uh, you want to be looking over your shoulder. You want to be wondering what anybody else is doing. You also know that it'll be there for your favor when people try to come against you. What a great thing that is. So teach your children. And by the way, your children, if they're older, they can still be taught. You know what? If you're a parent, you're always the parent. So I hope you have a great day.
And remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. And you're absolutely awesome.